Welcome my crafty friends to Donna's Creation and More. I am Donna and today I am doing a spring collaboration with Tammy the Rusted Willow as a host. The other host is Ellie DIY from home, house to home and guest host Shannon Craft DIYs. The steps you must do is clean your pine cones and dry them. And I have a video below how to do that and paint them to desire color. Here I'm showing you how I have decorated these pine cones into flowers. So first, once I have them all painted, I go along and I add my wooden skewers and I take some glitter glue I got from the dollar store and add a little rhinestone in the middle. And that's what they look like. These pine cones you can put in two different directions to make two different styles of flowers. And then for another free added bonus, save a can or um, a jar and display these in. Just add a paper towel or anything inside to hide the sticks. Now I used wooden skewers, but you're welcome to use sticks from your backyard. And just paint them green like I am here in the video. And that way your project is totally free. It didn't cost you nothing except for your paint. Unless you decide to add any glitter. Which I'm sure if you're in the crafting you have glitter around your home. But you don't have to add any glitter. You can leave them plain. And beautiful as I did in craft number two that we'll be just showing you. I have two pine cone crafts in this video. So I want to show you two different ways you can use them. Here's what they look like and here's the final reveal. Sorry the picture is so small, it's just how the camera takes it. And then off to DIY number two. This is a pine cone wreath. And I just took a plain old regular um, floral wreath from the dollar store and glued on my pine cones. You don't have to get a floral wreath. You can actually take cardboard and cut it out in a circle and then cut out the center and make a cardboard wreath. So again, it's free. So I'm just going around, add my pine cones the way I would like. And I'm going to do it in three layers because there's three rings plus I want it to be full. Then I also made sure that I turned it around the back and glued it and secured them best as I can. I ended up putting a lot of glue on these. I would recommend probably putting some fabric down first. I added some ribbon at the end. They would probably stick a lot better. If you added on your ribbon first and wouldn't use so much glue. One good thing about using these pine cones is they come in different sizes. And they squeeze together and interlock with each other which is great. So I added a little design on top and bottom where I flipped the pine cones upside down. To make a different looking flower as you see here in the video. Just to give a nice design and look different. So I'm going to continue to finish adding my pine cones all the way around. I'm almost done. This is, um, could be a time consuming project, but it's actually fun and beautiful at once. I'm going to display this on my front door for the spring holidays. I probably add like butterfly or something to it from the dollar store but beautiful spring little craft and it's free unless you buy the wreath but like I said you can make it 100% free with using cardboard so here's what it looks like and as I told you I turned it over and I'm adding the ribbon on the back and then I tried to do a hanger out of ribbon, but that didn't work out. And I just had to use a piece of burlap string. 
So here's a nifty little trick. Take your blow dryer and it gets rid of all the glue string. I had to try it. I heard about it and believe me, it works. So here is the final review. And again, sorry it's so small, but here is a picture. Design number three. We are just simple taking a rock from my yard that I cleaned and I am painting it and I'm going to make a ladybug. And yes, this is red. Don't look like it in the photo and I apologize. I tried everything to make it look really red and did not work. <clears throat> I'm not the best at painting without drawing it out and having a photo. So this it is what it is, but it's a great little accent for your garden and for kid, the kid crafts to do with your family or your grandkids. They could do butterflies or whatever design they want on their own rocks. Here I'm just painting it in red and black. And I actually ended up doing two coats of the paint. And I recommend at least putting some spray sealer on it if you're going to put it outside. But I'm not putting mine outside. Not this one. You'll see later in the video. And I did the face off camera. Yes, it's terrible, but it is what it is. Anyhow, craft number four. Here I took a stick I got in my backyard and some pebbles and a flower pot I had on hand. And I add the stick into the flower pot. And then I painted some eggs that I, wooden eggs I had in some white Waverly chalk paint. I just stuck them in a bag with some paint and mixed it together and laid them out to dry. Here I'm showing you some floral picks I got from the dollar store. And I'm going to add them on. I'm not going to bore you with the details of showing you every little one. And also, I found a free nest on my back porch that birds built and abandoned and never put little babies in it. Because we built a roof on our deck and we were always out there. But here I am adding my little flowers. And then I bought some peat moss and I'm going to add that in the bottom of my flower pot. As you see here, I wanted to try to keep this as natural as possible looking. This would make great little farmhouse. I was going to add these colored pine cones that I used in my first DIYs. But I changed my mind and I actually added natural looking pine cones that I had on hand. So I removed them and you will see the other pine cones at the end. Here I'm just adding the greenery from the floral picks that came with them. In the bottom just to give it some more detail and design. Again, this whole project only cost me three seventy-five, two floral picks and a bag of peat moss, so it's basically almost free. So I continue just adding them. Here's what they look like once I added my little egg and my babies that hatched my little bird, and added to my floral picks and the rest of the flowers. And then I'll show you what it looks like once I take it upstairs. And here it is, all done. I think it turned out gorgeous and I added some fairy lights. Please subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.